In this video, we'll learn to draw 3D shapes to include plans and elevations. In another video at level one, I've looked at plans and elevations of simple 3D shapes. Now, in this video, I'll look at two compound shapes. So I've made them using two cuboids. So we'll take them in turn. So you'd have a picture of this, for example, given to you, of this 3D shape. So a plan is what you can see from the top. And we have two elevations. We have the front elevation, which is what you can see from here. And we have the side elevation, which is what you can see from here. So we'll draw these together. So what you can see from the top is one, two, three, four, five, six, six units going across. You'd need to use a ruler, but I don't for simplicity in here. And then we go one, two down. And then one across again, one up, one, two, three, four five across and one up so this is what you see if you turn it this way this is called the plan for this shape now we'll do the front elevation of the shape so front another way to look at it is like more to the left so front is to the left and the side elevation is to the right. So what can you see? You can see a square of two units by two units. And now with the side elevation so if you turn it this way this is what you'll be able to see so one two three four five six units across and two units down is the side elevation so we'll turn it to its original position again and we'll look at these once more so these are the plan and the side and front elevation for this shape when I look at the other shape so we're given this position this position is really important you can't see what is behind here or there or underneath so you can see only three views you can see from the top which is the plan and you can see from the left which is the front elevation and you can see from the right which is the side elevation so looking at the plan I can see one two three four five units going across and then we have one two three four going down You'd need to use a ruler and be more precise than I am being. So we go three up, then across. So this is the plan of this shape. Now the front elevation. This is what we can see. So one, two, 
three, four, five, going down by three, one, two, three. And the side elevation one, two, three, four, one, two, three, down. If you're not given a grid or dotted paper, then you'll have to do this on normal paper but you have to use a ruler and the actual measurements in this case each and every one of these cubes is one centimeter so i'd have to draw them being one centimeter on paper